what's up everybody and welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. As usual, people like to jump on bandwagons. And I honestly think that people like to make YouTube videos sometimes just to have something to make so they can get subscriber base out or they can get views from their subscriber base and views from other things about the topic and people share it, they think it's funny, whatever. Just reviews and they don't even really give a shit. Or they don't actually take a look at themselves, the people who are saying this shit. Now, hey Brew, what's up buddy? Yeah, now what spawned this video? There's been a couple of videos up about making fun of the water jug that 5% Nutrition has up. Now, and it's no secret whatsoever. I'm wearing a 5% hat. I'm wearing a shirt. I got a fucking tattoo on my arm. Okay, I'm a 5%er, plain and simple. I don't run around telling everybody they should use the shit. I say, if you want to fucking try this, try it. If not, then who fucking cares? But the bottom line is, when I saw the 5% jug, I was like, it's actually a pretty good idea. And not money-wise, but it's actually a pretty good idea. The product All Day You May is meant to be put in a jug to begin with and drank throughout the day. Why not have a, one of your own branded jugs, which a lot of the bros and, you know, the people talking about this shit are not bros. The bros carry their jug of water anyways. Why not brand a, a jug? So make fun of me all you want. I got my jug and drink my All Day You May out of it. Now, here's the funny part. This carries a gallon of water. It costs you eight bucks, right? Now, I was at the gym the other day, and I heard, again, someone, I overheard it, someone making fun of this, just like the people on YouTube, just like the other people, making fun of it, going, fucking retards are out there buying milk jugs, just go buy a thing of milk for fucking five dollars and wash it out. Okay, you wash out a milk jug and see what it tastes like. You're never going to get that fucking milk out of there anyways. Or do a water jug, or whatever the case may be, that's fine. You know, they came out with the jugs, and they branded it so that you could show your support for the brand. Fucking stupid ass. And then I hear this. And I look, and I see this. This here is a blender bottle. And half of you motherfuckers calling people that have gotten the jug stupid have one of these. This is $8. These go for $13 up to $17 that you're paying for these fucking things, okay? It's plastic. It's plastic. Contains 20 ounces maximum liquid. So you're not going to be mixing up your old fucking supplements in this contains a gallon of liquid so you can use the product the way it's meant to be made. Now, some of you motherfuckers, this piece of plastic is worth like a dollar fifty. You fuckers are actually out there buying these things and I know it's a blender bottle because it's got that fucking rattle thing in it. And you're overpaying for these when they first came out, these and the smart shake bottles, I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, that's expensive, like fifteen dollars for a fucking water bottle. And then I realized that smart shake water bottle is very convenient with the pieces and the attachment that it has on has on it and the blender bottle with the little fucking ball which I usually use the balls to begin with is very fucking good for mixing shit up each one had their own thing that you were paying for you're paying for convenience not the product you dumb motherfuckers right now that are making fun of shit probably have one of these in your fucking house or something similar to it so even if it's not a blender bottle you have something you bought because you're drinking your fucking shakes you're taking your fucking supplements out of a fucking shaker bottle I mean what are you supposed to do are you supposed to fucking buy paper cups well then you're stupid because you waste all this money and you fucking hurt the <laughs> you hurt the earth throwing shit out. Are you supposed to fucking put supplements in your hand and drink it out of your hand? What are you supposed to do? So, to me, I look at it and go, and this is my ultimate warrior one, by the way. I look at it and say, anybody who paid fucking $13, $15 for this is a dumb motherfucker. And I have one. Yeah, you're spending money on something that's fucking overpriced. It's convenient. It's got the ultimate warrior on it. That's why I fucking bought it. Am I into gimmicks? Fuck yes, I'm into gimmicks. If I'm going to have a water bottle, I want to have something cool on it. Now... There are cheaper water bottles, but still you're paying anywhere from 5 to $6 for one of these size water bottles with company names on them. Okay, There are companies out there putting them out right now, and they have been all along, and they're promoting their products. All right? It's a smart way to promote your product. You're going to mix your shit up. You're going to take it to the gym. Now, $8 versus $14 or $15. A gallon of liquid. What the fuck else has a gallon of liquid in it that you could put in it besides one of these jugs? Could you imagine if they made something like this in a gallon size? What the fuck it would look like and feel like when you're walking around with it? A fucking cup this big and this tall like you're going to fucking carry around like a mini keg. It doesn't make any fucking sense. So I think that personally, the haters are going to hate no matter what. It was a good idea. Rich fucking jumped on it. And people are going to be pissed. They're going to hate. Since he came out, they fucking hate. They make fun of him. They call him fucking names because of his arms. They make fun of his products. They make fun of all kinds of shit. But the bottom line is, you people hating and making fun are fucking spending money on shit that's just as fucking stupid, 
But the difference is you're spending it on a fad, which a lot of people spend that money on. A lot of people buy these bottles over and fucking over. Do you know how many times a day I hear this in the fucking gym? I can't tell you fucking how many times. I can't tell you how many times you're at a show. Somebody pulls their shit out of their fucking cooler and they're fucking doing this. People are buying these six-pack coolers, these fucking ISO bags, all these shits with our fucking coolers for like a hundred fucking dollars. They got ones that look like fucking purses now. It's a cooler. You could go buy the styrofoam one at the fucking supermarket for fucking $4.99 that you bring to fucking tailgate parties. You can lug that thing around. Why don't they just do that? Convenience, style, attitude. You're looking for all those things. So it's not just about what it does. It's about the functionality of it. It's about the, the branding of it. It's about the style of it. It's about if it fits your lifestyle. I mean, I have these and I have this. They both fit my lifestyle. I'm happy with it. It doesn't fucking matter. The bottom line is you should really take a look at yourself before you point the pig, excuse me, before you point the finger at someone else, because you're fucking just as bad by doing this fucking stupid shit and then calling this fucking stupid. It's actually pretty hypocritical. Biosurtraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. But don't fight, you motherfuckers, with your shaker bottles, because the fucking jug ain't no different. www.biosurtraining.com is a blog, and where it's the I got my 5% jug, and you don't bitch, and we're out.